Run, Roach. Gideon.
Come on, Roach. Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Gotta find another. Ought to look among the villagers. <laughs> Might find one brave enough to help me. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tamioid wouldn't work. My skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Mm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? He can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks.
Sometimes I'm in for a swim. Infocema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought, one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful.
I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are. But since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well. Then let's discuss it. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Now where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here a dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby, best in Velen. But the horse sons burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you?
Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. 
Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Mm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. For a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. See just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. 